Hey guys, what's going on? It's Juan from the Fans POV here to give you this week's sound off. So how is everyone doing today? I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you guys. Um, as I said, let's, and as always, let's just get started on this week's sound off. So, today's headlines. Comic-Con Museum to open in San Diego's Balboa Park. Now, this is kind of cool. I mean, a Comic-Con Museum of all things uh, in San Diego of all places. I mean, you know, San Diego Comic-Con, it's huge. Um, as a California native myself, I don't always have a chance to go to San Diego Comic-Con. In fact, I've never been to San Diego Comic-Con. But hey, a museum dedicated solely to it? Count me in. It'll give me a chance to at least check some of the cool stuff they have on there. Um, if you guys are in the area, be sure to check it out. Let's see if there's actually a release date for this guy yet. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's nothing yet. But be, I know that we're going to be probably the first ones to tell you in case there ever is. So, San Diego Comic-Con Museum, be sure not to miss it. Headline number two. Japanese ambassador to Israel cosplays as One Piece's Luffy at an anime event in Jerusalem. So, that is awesome. I can't think of a better way to kind of go introduce yourself to people and be like, hey, look at me, I am this anime character. So that is awesome. Props to you, sir. This is it. This is the whole show. Me waiting for this uh, page to open. Here we go. Okay, so as I said, Japanese ambassador to Israel cosplays as One Piece Luffy at the anime event in Jerusalem. Asahi Shimbun and NHK reported today that, so the 59-year-old ambassador, Koji Tomita, he went to Harukan 2017, which is a convention dedicated to Japanese manga and anime in Jerusalem, and cosplayed as Luffy. That is honestly awesome. Yeah, like, uh, I'm sure Ernie will put up the picture maybe over here or over here. I don't know. Maybe anywhere. Uh, oh, yeah, you just see this guy dressed up as Luffy, uh, fake six-pack and all. That is awesome stuff. Okay. <laughs> And last headline, the 2017 Denver Comic Con Beer Naming Contest has begun. So anyone over in Denver, if you have, think of a great name for this beer convention, check it out. Who knows, you might make headlines. We might see you on an episode of this. Yeah, so uh, super simple stuff. Just to submit an idea for a name, head over to their Facebook page and post your suggestion by 5 p.m. March 23rd. So it already passed. But the final four names will be marched uh, announced on March 24th, and the voting will begin. So March 29th, if you guys had a chance to check it out, or, you know, I know we're a little late on the subject here. That's on me. Um, the official name will be announced on March 29th. So here's hoping. Let's see what happens. So that's it for the headlines of this week. So now we have the sound off picture of last week. What kind of con goer are you? Me personally, I'm like I'm the kind of guy that likes to walk around constantly. I ever since I was a kid, I like to just go around and see. I will take multiple laps around the convention. It is just one of my favorite things in the world to just go around and see. Just check out what there is to sell, what there is to see, check out the local artists, what they got going on. Because then at the end of the day, you know, if there's anything I liked or remember that stuck out of my mind, go and buy it, you know, just some simple stuff like that. Um, moving on, we got the con tip of the week. Communication between, between, excuse me, cosplayer and photographer. Now, you gotta pose with the passion, guys. Come on. So, I am not a huge modeler or photographer myself. I could leave that, you know, to the very talented Ernie, Chrissy, and Eric. If you're seeing this, you're awesome. Um, and so, you know, always going to need some communication there. You're obviously from the photographer, I can only assume. You're going to need a lot from the model itself. All these poses, all this good stuff. So get some communication in there, guys. Say if you find someone taking photos, don't be afraid to walk up and ask them if they can take yours. And, you know, maybe get a little talk in there. Ask them what you'd want them to do. What can make the picture look perfect? <laughs> Move it on. We have the cosplay of the week. Friday Prismatic Cosplay. And... I don't know, there's a screenshot, I'm sure there's a link below uh, to this video, is this awesome Th Thanos, Thanos, I apologize, I'm not a big Marvel fan, uh, just huge guy in Ordeirso, that's, 
like you guys see this it's crazy i can't even believe there's a person in there honestly you know it's huge i wouldn't be surprised if that's the same kind of costume they use for infinity war mm-hmm our, and moving on, our hero of cosplay is Mango Siren. I hope I said that correct. Props to you. I'm really glad you were able to get it. Our page model of the week is Aria Moon Cosplay. You know, we can always check her out at uh, Facebook.com slash Aria Moon Cosplay. On Twitter.com slash Aria Moon Cosplay. And Instagram.com slash Aria Moon Cosplay. Mm -hmm. The photo shoots uh, that we have done this week is a Pokemon Go trainer shoot with Arya Moon Cosplay, who got married this last weekend. Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. All right, guys, moving on. Uh, going into our social media posts. Yes, so starting, we have Fairy Godmother for Hire, who specializes in children's costumes. Now, these are kind of cool. So it's on Etsy. Um, it's always i love i love me some etsy uh yeah and uh the one i found specifically is this really cool like looks to be a raven from um teen titans i'm sure there's a lot of teen titans fans around here so you know it's cool because it's like they're specifically made for kids so you know if you ever need a kid you know or if you yourself are a kid who needs a costume definitely check them out moving on we are going to our artist of the week that is Antoshines. Antoshine is Antoshines. I am off today. I apologize. Yeah, there's an art, a digital artist from uh, DeviantArt who just takes you to whole different worlds with their art. It's just so beautiful. The one that um is probably on the screen right now that looks like a whale on, you know, jumping out of the sea with a little girl in front of it. It's called Dream Big. Like... I don't know, to me, that's just beautiful. Like, you know, we got the perfect landscape there with the ocean. You got the whale with the castle on its on its back. Like, that's... I've always been a fan of, like, the whole fantasy mythology kind of stuff. And this is totally right up my alley. Be sure to check out their DeviantArt if you can. It's worth, it's worth a glance at. Moving on, we got the Music Monday. Going for the Ali Bun cosplay from Katsukon 2017. We have uh, our Watching Wednesday, which is Logan. We'll have a link on the bottom there. I believe Rico wrote up a nice little uh, write-up on it. Be sure to check that out. I haven't seen the movie yet myself. I decided to go see Beauty, Beauty and the Beast and Home to See Power Rangers next, but Logan needs to be on my list soon. I've been hearing very good things about it. Throwback Thursday, we have our DC Cosplay Disney Cosplay Music video, which, if you guys have been with us, that is honestly one of our favorite, personally, that's one of my favorite videos that we've done here um, on the fans' POV. Uh, it's awesome. Grew up as a Disney fan. Definitely check it out. Feature Friday, we got our Icon 32 review by Ricardo. Link to it down below. Once again, awesome. Get a first hand, get a, his point of view of how everything went down. And our Saturday skit is Anime Boston 2016. Totally a real anime school masquerade skit. Link to that down below as well. All right, guys. So moving on. We're wrapping it all up a little bit here. We got our conventions update. So cosplay, cosplay page models. Shazuhimi, Far Fairwind, and Aurelian cosplay will be at Anime Boston in Boston, Massachusetts from March 31st to April 2nd. Ernie will actually be at Sakura Mitsuri at Washington, D.C. on April 8th. And cosplay page model Tony X Tempers will be at Kogorakon in Edison, New Jersey on April 8th. Sound off picture for this week. Who would win in a fight, guys? Godzilla or Dragon Zord? The nostalgia is pretty hard for me right now, so I gotta go with Dragon Sword. But who knows? It could be dismantled in seconds by Godzilla. All right, guys, I'm going to call it for this week. As always, check us out on social media, always on YouTube.com slash TheFansPOV1, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at TheFansPOV, and, of course, Tumblr that is run by yours truly, TheFansPOV.tumblr.com. Thank you so much for joining me this week. It's always a pleasure to host the fan, uh, sound off for the fans POV. Ricardo will be here next week. All right, guys, signing off, and good night.